Pokemon fans, Epilepsy here, and I'm kind of bringing you two videos today because, um, the guy I battled wanted me to upload his video, so I'm going to hop on that. I'm going to start off with my Gothitelle, and he's going to start off with this Rotom Wash. Now, Rotom Wash is a, uh, very bulky and annoying Pokemon to deal with, but Gothitelle is going to set up the Trick Room, so hopefully I can, uh, do pretty well inside the Trick Room. I don't really have the fastest Pokemon, so outside the Trick Room is not good for me at all. But I'm going to go for the Psychic. I'm going to do as much damage to this thing as I can. As you can see, I do uh, about a third of the damage, so hopefully I can uh, take this thing down sooner or later. But that Hydro Pump, I'm going to eat that up because Gothitelle is pretty bulky. But uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty, uh, pretty long battle, I think, because got the bulkiness and the burn's gonna wear down on me. I cannot stand losing um, Gothitelle so early in the game because I need to have my trick rooms up. But uh, I'm gonna go for a calm line so I can eat up more Hydro Pumps and or Thunderbolts, which he's going for a Thunderbolt right now. And that is going to do a decent chunk to me. This is not good at all. Um, I need to get my HP back up and I need to get this burn out of the way. Because I'm not going to be able to do much damage to this Rotom if I don't have a Pokemon I can attack the Rotom. So I'm going to go for Rest. Now, Resto Chesto is usually uh, what people run. I don't think I'm having Resto Chesto. I think I have Leftovers. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to be able to wake up, which is very uh, unfortunate. But at the same time, it's okay because I lose some full HP and I'm no longer burned. And he can't put another status on me. But now he's going to go to Caesar, and that is very nice shiny. Um, not one of my favorites, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like the green, I like the red much better. But um, I'm going to have to switch, because Gothitelle can't really deal with a Scizor. So I'm going to have to go into Sally, and uh, I went into Sally to kind of eat up anything that he can throw at me. And also, I did it to maybe scare him into thinking I was going to burn him and weaken him. But, uh, he's not going to fall for that. He's going to go right for the Swords Dance because he knew he could set up easily on a Gothitelle, who is asleep. And now he can pretty much destroy my face because there's nothing I can do to this thing. I need my Trick Room up. But I'm going to go into Clefable because it's unaware Clefable. And he's going to do a bullet punch. I'm not sure if he predicted me. Because that was a great, like, a crazy uh, good prediction on his part. If that was what he was doing. And that dealt crazy amount of damage. So, um, I'm going to have to pull out the uh, Mechazilla. Because that is a scary scissor on that side of the field. He's going to go for another bullet punch. And this is going to do about a third, maybe. And now I'm finally going to go Mega do as much to this thing as I can as possible, because, oh, Scizor, Mega, just not a good Pokemon. And he's going to go for the Superpower. That is going to do a lot of damage to me. He's going to be able to take uh, Aggron down, but he lowered his attack, so now he's only a plus one Scizor, which is still really threatening, because, well, he just went through my wall. So now I'm going to send out Hitmontop. Now, Hitmontop is running the uh, fake out, so at least I can get, like, some damage off on him, but, uh, that was with a crit, and that was nowhere near enough to even do it, which I figured it wasn't going to be enough, but I'm going to go for a mock Punch, now, he's going to go for another, uh, Swords Dance, now he's a plus three Mega Scizor, that is not good for me at all, because, well, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this thing, but him on top is going to be taken down by that one Bullet Punch, now, pretty much, there's nothing I can do. I I have Gorgeist, and he's probably got a, uh, oh, what's it called? A dark move and or a bug move, which could just go right through me. But he's going to go for the ball punch. It's not going to be enough to take me down. I'm going to use Trick or Treat. I thought maybe I could eat up more attacks, or he was just going to go right for the KO, which he didn't go right for the KO. So maybe I can take this thing down if I can survive the next attack. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak. Let's see how much I can do to this thing. Not quite enough to take down Mega Scizor. He's going to go for a Bug Bite, and that's going to take down Sally. Because he is a plus three and Technician Boost. Wow. 
Um, I'm having some serious issue with this Mega Scissor. Um, now I'm gonna send out the Fable. There's not much I can do right now. I had to, to uh, forfeit. That was a good battle, Pokex. Now, please hit me with a try attack, like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, 